How's it going folks? Just walking into a yard sale here. A local guy said he had some music gear and stuff. So we're gonna look it over. He just showed me this. This was a, called a silent policeman. You know, it had the light in it. And if you hit it, it wouldn't break it. Pretty cool. A couple uh, nice big white-tailed deer mounts here. A lot of snowshoes and a ton of old pack baskets, which are really nice. These are killer, great shape, handmade fishing creels. I mean, this is the best of the best. This guy don't just sell to anybody. He don't just let anyone in this in his place either. But all right, so look at these old. These are all hand done by a. An Indian, yeah, he, he did these. And he also did this. Now, you got to really look hard, but there's a rifle burned or carved into this piece of wood. And it is really beautiful. There's an old BB gun from the 30s, like a daisy. One cock. Let's see what else we got here. Got some old glassware and stuff, Pyrex, all kinds of stuff here. TV. Wow. We'll just keep looking. Now some more snowshoes. Unreal. Bait cans. This guy has the cream of the crop. That's why I come here. Got all kinds of goodies. There's a bow and arrow. Nice bow. There's a fish board. You clamp your fish in to clean them. It's an old one, too. Nice one. There's another big basket. Man, he's got more pack baskets here than I've ever seen. There's some more fish cleaners. Wow. Look at these old utensils with deer antler for handles. That's really neat. All kinds of cool stuff here. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take a peek at. Well, we got a guitar case here, which is cool. And uh, what else? Oh, there's a nice snare drum there. And uh, oh, we got a guitar bag here. Let's check this out real quick. Breswood. Do you guys know anything about these? I think these were uh, service merchant. No, uh, monk. What was it service merchandise? Oh, Radio Shack sold these. Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. Well, it's strat like. There's the headstock. I got something here too. Uh, oh, you can record and play back, and it takes an SD card. That's pretty wild. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments there, if you would. We'll see. You never know. It might follow me home. They do sometimes, so... Let's see what it is. Okay, holy moly. This is why I came out here anyways, because he told me about this. This is amazing. This is 1950. It's a mini train like you'd see at a fun pack, you know. This is the engine right here. Pretty cool. Let's pop it open. It's got a, there's the motor. It's all run on hydraulics, you know. There's two tanks up in the front here. One's for your gas and one's for your hydraulic fluid. And your battery goes up there. Really cool. This thing's in good shape, too. So this is where the guy would sit that was driving it, right here. And there's the levers, you know. This this thing would probably run with very little effort. There's the cars, you know, that the kids would ride in. And adults in the bigger ones. Yeah, and they got adults in the bigger ones. Man, this is cool. There's the pin. See, they pin together that way. 
So he's got three passenger cars and he's got the caboose because this is the back one right here check this out that's really cool and it's got all kinds of track that goes with it man oh man you just don't find this stuff anywhere this come out of where new hampshire you thought something like that yeah yeah it did new hampshire that's amazing Boy, I don't, I, you look at it and you just want to get in there and take a cruise in it. I mean, that's cool. Well, guys, what else we got here? An old bowling game. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. Here's another nice Daisy BB gun. That thing's got some steam, too. It's a breakdown. I think it's a 177. That thing is really powerful. Over here, oh yeah, I want to show you guys this. This is an old military National Guard picture. And it is really... 1930. 30? 1930? Yep, yeah, Maine. Look at that Indian rug in here, too. That's really cool. And on the back of it, there's a, a newspaper clipping in here that tells all the names of the people that are in the picture, which is really, really cool. I mean, okay, what else we got? Indian rug in oh, we got an Indian rug here we're going to check out. And we got, if you get bored, we might we might do a shootout here on the hoop. Man, okay, man. oh. Worth a lot of money, that rug. Geez, you know what? Uh, is this Indian too? Yep. Because I got one of these at the house. Yep. I think I showed it to you. It's got the little doll on yep. it. Yeah, I'll have to bring that out. Okay, oh, whoa. Put a rug in there. Look at that. That's Indian old hand done. Wow. Really, real, real really cool. Piece. Jeez, you got and a nice case, birds. too. Those are hand cab birds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really neat. Bolt, 50 bolt motor. Oh, look at that little thing. Ain't that cool? Oh, it's got the top for it and everything. Yeah, motor on it. Oh, it does. Mo it, it's powered. Yes. Oh, wow. Very neat. Yeah, 1950s. 1950s. That's cool. Well, guys, thanks for for uh, tagging along. It's in one building, Tom. Yeah, this is just one building. <laughs> this guy uh, happens to be a relative of mine, and he does this. He's been doing this for a long time. I've seen more antiques go through his hands than. I don't know where he finds this stuff, but he does. He puts a lot of work into it too. So, but he he has good uh, good taste, and he knows this stuff better than anyone I I know. So, it's good just to come out and get an education at least, you know, and check some of this stuff out. I like old stuff anyway. So, well, thanks for checking it out, guys. I'll bring you along on another one sometime. This one's kind of private, but, you know, he let me in here, and I had to ask him if I could shoot a video of it, because it's just how it is. Okay, take care, guys. Be good. Okie doke.